This is section 5.2 on angles of a triangle. We're going to look at four theorems in this section, and they basically cover things that we've talked about, but now we have something to reference them with. So the first one is theorem 5.1. It's the triangle angle sum theorem. So we're going to call that the triangle angle sum theorem from now on. It tells you the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180. So we already talked about that last section, but now we have something to call it. It's the triangle angle sum theorem. The angles of a triangle sum to 180. So use that information. How are you going to find the values of X and Y? Well, notice we do have a triangle here, and these triangles have sides that are rays that cross, and it makes an 85 degree angle that's outside the triangle. What you need to know is that its vertical angle, that's that angle that has the X in it. Vertical angles are the same, remember. So X is 85. Keep your eyes open for vertical angles in this section. Because there's going to be times where it looks like you don't have enough information. Look for vertical angles. Now, take a look at this triangle now. We know two of the angles, and we don't know the third one. Well, we can find the third one. We have an 85-degree angle and a 55-degree angle inside the triangle. That adds up to 140 degrees, which means we should know what's left over. This angle right here will be 40 degrees. Now, if you want to go a step further, you can definitely classify this triangle. Notice how all the angles are different. And notice how they're all less than 90. So that's a little review from what we did last section. Here's a different example. Here's a triangle, and we know one angle inside of it. These two angles we don't know. We could use the triangle angle sum theorem if we knew two of them, but we only know one of them. This is where you got to remember back to what a linear pair is. If you do not identify this linear pair, there's no way you're going to get this problem right. And we're going to see problems like this all through this section in this chapter. Linear pairs. Most of the time you have an acute angle like this one and an obtuse angle like that one. They can't be the same. Linear pairs are not the same. But they do add up to 180. So if you know the acute angle is 65, you can find the obtuse angle. So your obtuse angle is 115 degrees. Now you know two of the angles in the triangle, so you can find the third one. So 115 and 28. That adds up to 143. What's left over then? It'll be 37 degrees. You can classify this triangle. We know all three angles in it now, and they're all different. So it's a scaling triangle. One's bigger than 90, so it's obtuse. So one other thing we're going to talk about on this before we go to the next slide. Take a look at this 65 degree angle. Notice how it's outside the triangle. Well, the angle that it touches inside the triangle is this one. The other two, add those together. What is 28 plus 37?
it's 65. That's not a coincidence. That's actually our next theorem. If you have an angle that's outside the triangle, these two angles here that don't touch it inside the triangle, they're going to add up to it. That's the triangle exterior angle theorem. The measure of any two exterior angles of a triangle, they're equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So this exterior angle, 123, is the same thing as 88 plus 35. So what will happen in the future is we'll see problems where you only know two of these three angles and you have to find the other one that's missing.